across another night in California. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Yes, my people, welcome back to my farm. True Jamaican vibes, fair really. Yeah, I'm on some organic color low right here. As you can see, this train, very healthy. So, welcome to my farm. Yeah, it's a bit of dry weather right now, so I'm just giving it some water. As you can see the leaves, a lot of holes. So it's organic because as you can see that's where the worm and all those pests eat the leaf. So it's organic, no chemical. And you know Kalalu have a lot of health benefit. So I know the person I'm a shot of blood. So you can eat some color low and build back up the blood level, okay? The blood count. Yes, some people, you don't know, say harvesting time. So I cut some color low to friends and family and neighbors. So just keep on watching, all right? So them, them here is a red stark, the red stark color low. Tastes much much different from the rest of them. You see them in paper, hundred percent organic, no chemical. Blessings, one love and one heart. So yeah, as you can see, I have some sweet pepper seed in my hand right here. So I want to make a small sweet pepper nursery. So I'm going to show you all how I do my sweet peppers. I don't really chain my sweet peppers. I always sow them right into the earth. So you're going to see how I do the process of sowing my sweet peppers. Okay. As you can see, the land, the nursery has prepared. So I'm going to show you how exactly how I sow my sweet peppers. So this is the sweet pepper seed, as you can see. This is my sweet pepper seed. So I'm going to sow them right in the dirt. So this is what it looked like when I finish putting the seed. Just take a good look. So now I'm gonna cover the seed with some dirt. You must not throw a lot of dirt on the seed. So you're gonna take a little time and use your hand and pinch the dirt on the seed so you don't need as much dirt to go on the seed just a little bit so in about 14 days time you can come back and see some form of germination So that is the finish process 
after covering the seeds. So yes my people, so right here I have some scotch bonnet pepper. Can't make you waste them, now make them waste some, you sow them in the earth. See if I can grow some scotch bonnet, you know. So I'm going to show you exactly how I set my scotch bonnet pepper seeds. So keep on watching guys. Yeah hey man, so you see it, I prepare dirt, just a little area still, can get some scotchy, just I prepare dirt, so I put the scotchy them in it, and leave them for like about two weeks before I start some form of germination. Yeah hey man, so I'm just use up land my paper and plant some organic stuff. Yeah, so I just refine the dirt a little bit, remove some of those bad, bad stones. Yeah man, so I scotch them ready for go inside and I want to leave them for a couple of weeks, about two weeks. Yeah man, take up and scotch them, you know. See them there? So yes, my people, so you see the scotch them inside now. So I'm going to throw a little bit of dirt on top of them, just a little bit. And leave them for 14 days before some sign of germination. So always remember the tree of life. Must always have one or a couple of trees in the backyard. Yeah hey man, the them are come. Looking good. So this is some sweet peppers. Maybe in some countries, other other persons may call it um, bell peppers. So you have to watch the leaf them and see if they are curl. As you can see, it's a blossom right now. 